Hi right, everybody, this is the Baseball Hunt, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, I welcome back to Baseball Hunt, hope you like this video, and hit that subscribe button, as you know, the Mets are not in the postseason anymore, they got uh, beaten by the Dodgers, they were two wins away from the World Series, and now they're sitting at home, and they're not watching any games, and it sucks, but anyway, so always talk about next season. As you know, uh, Mets are going to scour every nook and cranny of good players. And now that the, the uh, checkbook is, is reopened now, uh, the Mets are going to be putting a lot of resources, a lot of money into a lot of free agents. And one guy that could be a free agent is Japanese star Roki Zazaki, who was uh, 21 years old. He wanted to get out of his contract last year. That did not happen. Uh, where is that? There's a possibility he might get let out of his contract this year. But his age and not having a lot of years in the Japanese league, kind of, it's a little tricky. But this from Mets Rise Online is a report. Mets committed significant resources to scouting Roki Zazaki. And his article predicting contracts for the top 45 free agents, Jim Bowden of the Athletic, Mentioned that the Mets are among the teams that commit significant resources to scout. Japanese sensation Roki Zazaki with the Chiba Latte, the Chiba Lot Marines missing the NPB playoffs. Bound said a decision will be made soon on whether or not the 22 year old will be posted. According to Bowden, Dodgers, Yankees, Red Sox, and, Di and Diamondbacks are also invested in Sky Sazaki. Since he's under the age of 25, Sazaki can only sign. A minor league contract in the states, so this would be like similar to uh, the you know any team signing an international player. Say, for instance, Francisco Alvarez a few years ago. Just to give you an example. Suzuki boasts a triple-digit fastball that has topped out at 103 miles per hour, dominated his competition again in 2024. However, he missed two months due to an arm injury a year after an oblique injury short circuit his 2023 campaign. He's only eclipsed 100 innings twice in his career. All told, Suzuki turned in a 2.35 ERA, 129 strikeouts against 32 walks, and allowed just two home runs and 111 innings. That's pretty good. 100, two home runs and 111 innings? Wow. That's quite the ratio. But he, he right now is considered the best pitcher in uh, Japan um, at this point in, you know, in his career. Uh, he goes very hard, like I said in the video, in this video, and in this report. I've not seen him. I would mention this as an aside. Uh, I have felt this for the last year that the Mets losing Billy Epler would hurt them with these Japanese players because he has a great connection to the to that part of the world. Just wanted to mention that. I think that's one of the reasons why they, they kind of lost out on Yamamoto too last year. Uh, but uh that's just sort of an aside. It's sort of something to keep an eye on. Uh, not even to keep an eye on, just to keep in mind. But uh, he will get a lot of uh, teams interested in him, especially if he's only going to uh, be looking to, to, to have to sign him for a minor league contract. It'll be basically about the incentives, and it'll be about you know what team uh, you know woos him. You know, and, and of course, uh, I don't even know. I mean, it's a little bit different situation than say. Uh, uh, other players in the past. You know, Yamamoto was posted. Um, these other teams, you know, these, this this particular player is a little bit different because he's younger. He's much younger. So, he's 22 years old, uh, and, and the Marines were not too enamored about uh, posting him last year or letting him free last year. Well, you let me know what you think about this video. Of course, please subscribe to the Baseball Hood. And if you're a big Mets fan, you need to hit that subscribe button. You'll have plenty of information here, rumors, all kinds of stuff here that you won't get anywhere else. This is the best Mets fans YouTube channel podcast on the internet. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.